So this might be one of my favorite films of the year, which is weird because I didn't really care for or have high expectations. But let's talk about Enola Holmes. So Enola Holmes is a new Netflix film which stars Ellie Bobby Brown from Stranger Things and Godzilla 2. Enola Holmes, the sister of Sherlock Holmes, and of course Minecraft is her other brother. And in this story, Enola Holmes hasn't seen her brothers in many years, and one day her their mother disappears. So Enola contacts her brothers and says gotta find mom and they kind of don't care to so Anola sets out on this journey to find her mother like Sherlock Holmes would with solving puzzles and solving mysteries and all that stuff and along the way she runs into another mystery crime that she's like if no one else is going to solve this might as well be me and the film is about her crisscrossing these two uh, mysteries and trying to solve them. That's it. <sighs> Millie Bobby Brown. I, I've always thought she was talented. But um, in this, she really gets to flex her acting chops. And gets to shine and gets to do more than just look sad or scared like she does in Stranger Things a bit. So that was nice. Uh, the film... In, in, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, in the film, she breaks the fourth wall. Which I normally don't really care for movies and shows because they like kind of use it as gags but in this they use it to push the story forward and you get a sense of Anola Holmes as a human being in this from her breaking the fourth wall a lot of the times it's really subtle it's it's like her like winking at the camera or or like smiling at the camera it's nothing like extravagantly huge of fourth wall uh, breaking. So that was nice. Cavill is good at Charlotte Holmes. I like him a lot in basically everything. So. There's that. Uh, the pacing is pretty solid. It, it hits a low point, like hour in maybe. But outside of that, it's pretty go, 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 boop, 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 boop. Uh, the editing is re really slick, especially in one action scene where it cuts between the past and the present, like during mid mid fight scene. It's really clever. It's really cool. It really works. But yeah, overall, the music is good too. It has a cool little like old schooly soundtrack. It's good stuff. But overall, I really dug this. I've seen a lot of people call it boring and stuff, which I get. Like. Like, uh, mystery movies aren't for everyone. I personally dig them. And I just really like this movie. If I had one complaint, one of the main plot points gets resolved really easily. And, and like, really suddenly. And, and I didn't like it. It, it kind of, like, comes out of nowhere. And it just, like, ends the plot point, like, immediately. It's really weird. But, um, I totally watch more of these. I know that there's six books. So Netflix, you want a new franchise, right? Make it this one. Give me five more movies. But overall, I really like it. And uh, be good people. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff.